hello students welcome to the new lecture that is uh, new topic crude oil distillation uh, in the petrochemical technology lecture number 15 so what is the crude distillation this is basically a process that is used in the oil refinery to separate crude oil into its various component based on their boiling points so crude oil is complex mixture of hydrocarbon different molecular weights and boiling point so crude oil contains thousand of uh, molecules of hydrogen and carbon and this is to be distilled into the refinery and we are separating the different product based on their ranges into into the boiling point so the process of crude distillation involves heating the crude oil in a large column called the distillation tower the large column the, where we are heating the crude oil is called a distillation tower or it is called a and atmospheric distillation unit so here is a simplified overview of crude oil distillation process the first step is heating so into the first step we heat the crude oil in a furnace then enters the bottom of the distillation tower once the crude oil is heated uh, heated so the steam of the crude oil travels uh, travels through the bottom of the distillation uh, tower the second step is fractional distillation so inside the distillation tower the crude oil is separated into different fractions based on their boiling point so the uh, tower has several trays stages at different height so at different height this had different uh, uh, trays so based on their boiling point the uh, the steam of the component travels up and they uh, cools down at their different boiling ranges and gets collected at a particular tray now you can see after the steam goes up so as the temperature uh, decreases going up tower the fraction with lower boiling point condenses at higher level while those with higher boiling points remains in a more liquid state and collect at lower level so those uh, component or product that is having the lower boiling point they are collected first and for higher boiling point they are collected later on and they remain at the bottom and for the lower boiling point they goes to the top so in the third step we will talk about the separation of the fractions so various fractions are obtained at different level of the tower the first is light gases so these are collected at the top of the tower and may include the gases like methane ethane propane butane and second we have the naphtha that is found in middle of the tower and used for gasoline production as such as feed stock for petrochemical process and third we have kerosene and diesel these fractions are collected at lower level and are used for jet fuel diesel fuel and heating oil so then fourth one we have the heavy residue so these are heaviest fractions and are collected at the bottom of the tower and they can further processed in other unit of the refinery to obtain useful product like lubricating oil or bitumen so the fourth stage into the uh, distillation column or crude distillation unit is cooling and condensation so as the vapor rise in the lower they cool and condense into liquid fraction which are then collected in the tray or chamber at various levels and the uh, next that is fifth stage further processing so after obtaining the fractions that might undergo the additional refining processes such as the catalytic cracking reforming hydro treating catalytic cracking is basically in presence of the catalyst the heavier uh, liquids are cracked and they are uh, converted into valuable product then reforming again the isomers are reformed into the valuable product then hydro treating addition of the uh, hydrogen or removal of the hydrogen to improve the quality of the fuel in a better 
valuable products so basically the main goal of crude distillation is to separate the crude oil into basic components each of which has a specific uh, application and uses so refinery use a combination of distillation chemical process and method to refine the refine and produce a wide range of petroleum products that are used in various industries for the different purpose so here in this picture you can see we have a, a crude oil this is preheated first and after the preheating this come into the uh, crude oil distillation column so you see this uh, this is heated in a furnace then the steam of the crude oil goes inside the tower where there are different trays of the uh, collection of the petro petroleum product so you can see at the top there is a lowest boiling point component so steam when it reaches to the top here at 25 degree centigrade less than that this product is collected means those products which have the boiling point less than 25 degree centigrade at the top you will see we have the liquid petroleum gas so this is lpg and this is used in uh, cooking the food at the kitchens so now we have the more than 25 to 60 degree centigrade this is this product is collected in another tower so this is a gasoline this is the range of boiling point for a gasoline or petrol so the cars are running with the help of petrol then we have the 60 to 180 degree centigrade this is naphtha so this naphtha is heavier than petrol and it is it is a mixture of uh, many hydrocarbon and that is used in petrochemical industry for the feed stock from where we are getting the petrochemical like ethylene propylene butylene styrene methanol xylene so many petrochemicals then further the more heavier component is uh, heavier than naphtha that is paraffin that is 180 to 220 degree centigrade boiling point range we are getting the paraffin so this paraffin is used mostly in uh, aeroplanes as a fuel or as a kerosene so further into the higher boiling point range we have 220 to 250 degree centigrade boiling point range that is for diesel so diesel is mostly used in heavy vehicles so above 250 to 300 degree centigrade we have heavier fuel that is fuel oil so fuel oil is basically used in your ships and then we have 300 to 350 degree centigrade that is lubricating oil so lubricating oil are used to lubricate your engines and the engines of the heavy vehicles cars etc the most heavier and bottom product is bitumen so this is also called asphalt or bitumen so bitumen is not further refined or it is not cracked so it is a waste product from the refinery that is nowadays used in construction of the road the road constructions are done using the bitumen uh, into this uh, diagram it is a most uh, typical diagram of the crude oil distillation so you can uh, see from the beginning here there is a crude oil feed so crude oil feed to the crude preheat exchanger so for, before sending it to the distillation column we have to preheat the crude oil so into this chamber the crude oil is preheated then hot product from the crude column so after this after preheating it is going to a desalter the salt that is dissolved into the crude oil is separated here and other the sour gases that are dissolved into the crude oil is separated here in this altar and they are out then further this is sent to pre flash drum so from the pre flash drum the top product is going to the crude column and from here this is a fixed heater that is 
heating the pre-flash drum. So from here this crude oil is pumped into the distillation column. Here also you can see the crude oil is pumped into the distillation column and from this fixed heater this is providing heat to the distillation column from where the crude that is going to the distillation column is heated and further it is at the top you will see the top steam is going to this point where we are collecting the petroleum gases or LPG from C1 to C4 so and second one you will see we are collecting the uh, naphtha and after that this one is the process of producing the kerosene then further the process of producing the lube oil etc. So further continuation to this lecture we will continue the next topic in another lecture. Thank you.